Music theory was definitely um, my favorite class uh, in high school. Uh, I took music theory one and two my junior and senior year, and, and it was great because um, I, I'm not like somebody who's going into music for a professional career or anything, and yet music theory was still able to teach me so much. The thing that theater stresses is that really anyone is welcome, no matter what background for you, from like political leanings or you know how what kind of student are you or what your interests are. Um, we all find ways to get along with one another. Being on stage with whether it be musical or theater, it really is some sort of public speaking role. It kind of holistically sharpens all of your skills. You know, you have to um, be mathematical. Uh, you have to be able to interpret, and you also have to use your ears and your own judgment. I really got to see how I could flourish as a young adult. Um, by being on stage and I could see where I was when I came in as a young freshman and how I progressed into a senior. By the end of my senior year, I'd become more involved in music and it just made me a more confident, more individualized person. Full Study is one of those things that really encourages you to become an active in your community and active in all levels of, of government. Um, I've been taking a lot of Full Study's classes the past few years. In addition to the, the, the regular courses, the, the state curriculums of global history, United States history, economics, and government, is that as a department we also offer a tremendous amount in a variety of different types of electives. You know, I went into psychology or, or studied psychology. Part of it was because I wanted to help people, but then um, even if you don't go into psychology, there's a lot of aspects of the field that you can get interested in. Uh, I went on to take AP European History, AP Government, and AP US. And all those classes have really contributed to making me who I am today. I'm able to read and write critically, I'm able to analyze different documents, I'm able to get involved and talk about things in a knowledgeable manner. The Social Studies Department gives you an opportunity to study psychology and get introduced to it. Just take that opportunity you know, to learn more about who you are and, and about the other people around you. One of the courses that I'm most excited about is the Big History Project. It's a project and discussion based course where we look at the history of the universe, covering major disciplines. Uh, reaching out and working with professors from Harvard and UC Berkeley and pulling in unbelievable resources into you know, what's a small but uh, big classroom here in Springfield. We did a lot of geometry and um, that turned into my favorite part of every project that I do. Working out curves, working out Bezier curves, working out angles, uh, even with framing houses and architecture and construction projects that I do, um, I end up using geometry. Math is so important. It's not just a class in high school. It goes so far beyond that when between doing taxes, basically any field of work that you want to go in you're gonna have some sort of math. As strange as it may sound, it just never goes away. If you don't see yourself using math in your career choice or in the future, I would say that you may not realize that you would. I would say that you don't necessarily know yet. So I would say to, to try it out and, and let it evolve naturally. Find out whether or not it comes, turns into something that you use all the time. I have taken pre-calc and calculus, and I found both of those classes to be extremely beneficial to me and I highly recommend them. Just do it, just try it out and uh, it will become something that you use and uh, it'll feel good that you did it.
I've always loved art, but when I took a studio art class freshman year, that was when I really decided that I wanted it to be a bigger part of my life. And that really helped me further explore what I wanted to do. I decided to go with architecture based on the variety that the field has. Not only um, does it help you with composition and laying things out if you're creating a poster or creating uh, a design for something in another academic, the other part of it is it just allows you to have an appreciation for the artwork that's around you and to be aware of it and to see um, what really is a possibility for you. Being involved in art definitely gives you like a different perspective. You look at things differently, think about them differently, and interpret things differently. So it's a, it's a great springboard, it's a great jumping point where you can um, pretty much jump into any facet of our world today. department here, a lot of those teachers would um, really inspire me to read more in depth and I was actually putting the work in because of their influence. Um, and a lot of that was through just general English classes and the electives here uh, as well. Courses like public speaking and creative writing and children's literature just open up so many avenues for, uh, for seniors going out into the world. One of the big things that really helped me to eventually get into teaching and I ended up concentrating in English as well is that um, I did some public speaking with uh, Mrs. Waterman. She's just phenomenal. She is one of the reasons I went into um, the profession I'm in now. So I took Honors 10 English my sophomore year of high school. That, that was the time when I really learned how to be a writer. Um, and those skills that I gained from that class have carried over. Use creative writing to find your voice. Um, use public speaking to build that confidence. Use children's literature as a way to read things that you may have never picked up on your own. When I went on to college, I was told by many of my professors how, how great my writing skills were, and I really owe that to that class that I took. The electives that were offered here, and I'm even kind of seeing this in my education, like being involved in education still currently, like Springville really offers these great, rich programs that uh, some districts don't have the advantages of. I went into teaching because of these people and because of this department and because of the courses that I took. And I genuinely believe that that is what has allowed me to be where I am today. And I'm thankful for that. I think uh, it's a good idea for some of our incoming students to consider our electives in health because uh, our classes are practical. Uh, we emphasize a lot of hands-on uh, skill. Most of the time, you're not going to be in the classroom. You're going to be down in the weight room. You're going to be out on the track. You're going to be outside. I mean, a lot of what we do involves lab work, involves hands-on measurement, objective evaluation of measurement of physical performance, athletic training. Actually getting to be able to apply it, that helped me learn how to be a better athlete. Uh, sports, medicine, healthcare, the allied health professions, um, that they can get a lot from. Exercise science is definitely a class for athletes who want to be better. I was able to apply it from swimming all the way to soccer. Learning a lot of practical skills that athletes utilize that, that physical therapists or athletic trainers or physical education teachers use in their in their careers. Even if you're not an athlete, it teaches you all these different methods just to live a healthier life. And I think that's really important to do.
the most important things I took away from Springville High School when I left and uh, went on to my collegiate career was the ability to go on into life with a business mindset. It's super important, everyone involved, even the teachers, Mr. Holler and Mr. Wickman have been huge role models to me throughout this entire year and even past years before. One of the most interesting experiences I had was taking the business of music class where not only did we learn about actually the music industry and how that entire industry is run, but actually enabling ourselves and putting ourselves into the music industry. One of the things that I discovered taking the accounting class was that it's something that I actually really love to do. It gives you a good outlook on what business classes will be like and whether or not you'd like to do that in the future. We got to learn how to run a project. We got to learn how to keep books and understand finances. We got to understand how um, an actual industry runs. Business is a growing industry that isn't going out of style anytime soon, and who knows, you may end up owning a business yourself. I know my dad started off working in West Valley at the nuclear power plant, and he didn't think of owning his own business until 18 years ago. And it doesn't really sound important on paper, but building the confidence that you get out of that and actually putting yourself out there and saying, hey, you know, this is a thing that I can do. I can go and talk to people in this industry and talk intelligently with them and actually book a band is a very cool thing. Um, it really gave you a sense of importance. Science World really opened doors for me. I, I went to college for chemistry, um, so I currently have an undergraduate degree in chemistry right now. I would really recommend anyone to take these courses in high school while they're at your fingertips. I love learning about science and the world and even about myself and what's happening in my body. But one of the most unique courses I took was forensics. It was interesting, it was intuitive, you learned so much. Science is growing and it's always going to be growing and changing and there will always be jobs in science. You've got some biology, you have chemistry, you've even got a little bit of physics. You're learning how to think the way that forensic pathologists and forensic anthropologists, just forensic investigators need to think. And you're also getting that mind, like the unique mindset you need just for you know, other courses, any science course or even in college. I am a scientifically oriented person. I think uh, critically, I, you know, I question the world and I've gained so many valuable skills from taking those classes and it truly has laid the foundation for what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. Learning another language is just straight life experience, you know. Like for instance, we have like the, the France trip and we have the Quebec City trip and we go to places that are like speak, speak French heavily. Um, and I'm in Spanish 5 this year and I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's really a beautiful language and it's an important one because it's on track to be one of the largest it is one of the largest and most, most spoken languages in the world and it's only going to keep growing. And you experience their culture and what they have to say and it's really, uh, it's really rewarding. Knowing a second language just opens up a door to a whole new way of thinking. And you, you get to experience what it's like to live and to, to talk and to work with people and communicate with people. On top of learning a new language, you also learn about the culture, you learn about the country, you learn about the people and that's something really special that you don't get from other classes that just teach you about history or just teach you about language. And I think learning another language, no matter what it is, or how you choose to do it in your life, it's, it's gonna be both rewarding outside of work and definitely in the workforce. It's really a, a resume builder. You're learning about the dialects and how people use the language and the country itself and the food and the architecture and everything. And it's just really an inclusive kind of study that you don't get with any other class.
it opened my experience to a world outside of just farming. You know, when people think of agriculture, they think, oh, you know, farmers, that's all it is. But in reality, it's so much more like there's government jobs, there's political jobs in agriculture, there's consultants, there's agricultural accountants. FFA also gets students to set goals, achieve those goals, and you also learn amazing leadership qualities. It makes you a more knowledgeable consumer, which in turn makes you a more knowledgeable buyer. Through conferences, seminars, conventions, meeting all these new people, all the places that you'll go. It's just an amazing, amazing experience for students. That agricultural education and stuff like that, especially getting through Springville, who the teachers here are amazing, the staff here is amazing. Mr. Buskis, the ag teacher, is one of the most knowledgeable people you'll ever meet. I really think you'll enjoy it and I think you'll fall in love just like I did. There's something for everybody in agriculture, even if you aren't directly involved in agriculture.